sounds like somebody's walking at you. Just wearing corduroy pants. No one in the younger generation would even know what corduroy pants are, but you do know a thing or two about really good catch gloves, I hope, if you're watching this. The RGT2 is nothing short of spectacular, so hang on. So with the RGT2 glove, um, similar story to what's happening in the pads, Hypercomp is gonna be laced and dressed out through the face of the glove right around the palm here. Phenomenal protection right away with a game ready feel, extremely compliant glove, very, very easy to close. Biggest change they made in this glove right away that we're gonna talk about, it's very, very obvious. This is the biggest pocket they've ever put on a glove. What'd you find with this thing? You can visually see how big this pocket it's is. Huge. They, they actually shortened up the actual palm of the glove, but with the Hypercomp, you're not losing any of the protection. Huge, huge pocket. What's gonna happen? You're gonna catch more pucks. They're gonna stay in there longer. It's what we're looking for. Nice, nice thinned out double T design. They did change the tent design up here on the top of the, the T, uh, more or less in how they anchored it to the thumb stall. In the previous GT, you'd see the thumb, uh, I should say the top of the, the pocket kind of would break over in this drunk fashion. This, everything is nice and clean and straight. Nice straight line from the top of the, uh, the T all the way down to the heel. It's gonna be a lot easier to notch on that stick for stick handling. Just looks a lot cleaner throughout. Um, you look at the back of the glove, a lot of Velcro. This, these guys use a lot of Velcro. They, pretty much around the back of the hand, obviously on the fingers. Um, traditional segments they added on GT. This is a lace in liner, so keep that in mind. You cannot remove this like you can on its G4 sibling. Um, you really don't have to, the glove feels phenomenal. Uh, just take good care of it and you won't have any stink issues. There is a palm insert below. You can remove that if you want it to feel even a little bit more gamey, um, but if you do get the occasional stinger, it's never a bad idea to keep it in there. The cuff is nice and short. We've talked about that before as well. Super short, it helps with Stick mobility, playing the puck, wrist mobility, again, losing that wrist strap is really gonna focus on giving you that, the total mobility in this glove. You're, you're, you're totally gonna feel how well it rotates on the hand, going from RVH up to the top, glove back up to VH. How you wanna present it. Exactly. Yeah, no hiccups. Getting back to the, the glove with the people everyone wants to talk about is how does it perform, how does it play. Um, this parlays to their 75 degree angle. This is a traditional glove feel in terms of thumb to finger closure. Um, the thumb angles change a little bit, so it's a little bit more relaxed. The thumb is kind of falling into the palm, for lack of a better term. It just feels more natural. You won't feel as much fatigue. This glove, to me, is now, it's caught up to its G4 sibling. It, it, it totally makes a lot of sense um, as far as the way it feels and plays. There aren't too many separating factors. The liner is obviously one of them, but the pocket is ginormous on this thing. You shouldn't miss a thing. Um, things a winner. Uh, don't sleep on the IGT2 line. If you want to learn more about this, we also have a blocker video coming up. Check out the link in the description below. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, watch all the rest of our videos we have. You got the leg pad video also. Don't be afraid to check it out. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid of anything. Don't be afraid. Be yourself.